welcome to the Late Night Picture Show. I'm your host, Murph the Clown. And I am about 95%. Yeah, I was sick last week. And no, I didn't have COVID. And you know how I know? Because I had to go to the doctor for another reason. And they tested me for COVID. Because I had a cough. Never mind, I was coughing up stuff. Not blood, just stuff. Okay, let's have some more medicine. I don't even know what I was doing two weeks ago. (laughs) If I thought really hard, maybe I could tell you what the movies were, but I'm not going to think that hard. But... I got another bottle of sherry and I'm experimenting with scotch and sherry. That's just kind of like a Rob Roy with sherry instead of vermouth. And some Peychaud's bitters. Look at that. Now I've already posted one Here's What's Coming. So when I do the ads, don't be uh, fooled. This is what we're talking about. Ultra-realistic. One million BC. (laughs) Not one million years BC. And the poster here just says, Featuring Victor Mature. As though he's the only guy that matters. I mean... What about this baby alligator? (laughs) He matters. Yeah, I don't know where the rest of it is. But I wrote some other people in my review, so... Let's get to it. Hold on. This one's actually pretty good. And I just used the... uh, You know, like the $26 scotch. (laughs) J and B. Which is the best scotch under $30? And I know, because I've tried them all. J and B is the best scotch under $30. 1 million BC is a 1940 Hal Roach Studios production. Directed by Hal Roach Jr. and Hal Roach. (laughs) It's a team effort. (laughs) Father and son. Starring Victor Mature, Carol Landis, and Lon Chaney Jr. Now maybe Lon Chaney Jr. wasn't as big a star in 1940. Wait, wait just a minute. Yes, he was. (laughs) Wasn't the Wolfman in 1940? What the hell? There's your headliner, Lon Chaney Jr., Victor Mature. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Carol Landis, she's a star. Okay, (laughs) I'll calm down now. (laughs) Okay, this is not one million years B.C. with Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch, am I saying that right? No, we can't afford that on UEN Sci-Fi Friday, which is where I saw this. Yeah, I was up here with my mom. (laughs) Watching Sci-Fi Friday. It's a Utah thing. UEN stands for Utah Educators Network. And to be honest, I don't even know if we can afford one million years BC on the late night picture show. I don't own that one. Anyway, this is the 1940 black and white and much more cheesy version. So, let me break this down for you. (laughs) It'll be difficult because it's so different from today. No. So, first we have the Rock Tribe. And the Rock Tribe is warlike, 
and angry and intolerant, much like today's Republicans. And then there's the Shell Tribe. All oh, peace and love and, you know, everything's honky-dory. Kind of like old school Democrats. Democrats aren't so much like that anymore. They're still dreamers. <laughs> but they aren't so much peace and love. They're a little more corporate. <clears throat> Well, anyway, Victor Mature, he's in the Rock Tribe, and he gets his ass thrown out of the Rock Tribe. Spit it out there, Murphy. <laughs> Actually, he just gets injured, and they leave him in the desert to die. Free health care? I don't think so. Get eaten. Well, along comes Carol Landis in her lovely chamois one piece. We are pre code here. <laughs> <clears throat> and she rescues Victor, takes him back home where he struggles to learn concepts like share the wealth and compassion for others. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Maybe? <clears throat> After he starts a fight, yeah, he gets kicked out of the Shell Tribe, and he and Carol go back to the Rock Tribe to try and convert them, you know, show them the way. Being, being hippies and all, they're going to, I don't know, hippie love cult? Maybe. Then there are dinosaurs. <laughs> and honestly, this is the best part. That's right. Dinosaurs and humans living right next to each other. Like it's some kind of Christian natural, dis natural history display. <laughs> In the, in the Museum of Creationism, wait, Intelligent Design. <laughs> but these aren't just any dinosaurs. Oh no. We have a Gila monster, and we have a baby alligator with a fin glued on his back. A Supposedly, maybe a, a Demetrodon, I think, is what they were shooting for. <laughs> but it's clearly a baby alligator. You saw the poster? <clears throat> okay. This being the pre-PETA days, before PETA could shut down the circus. Um... Yeah, the, the two fake dinosaurs fight to the death on film. And I'll just let you watch and see which one wins. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it for you. In the end, it's the wussy shell tribe that is ill-equipped to fight the dinosaurs. And they all must band together against this common enemy. <laughs> kind of like now. <laughs> See? I'm on to you. And I wrote this ten years ago, at least. <laughs> kind of like now, where neither side makes any sense on their own. Which is still true today. <laughs> so they band together to fight the dinosaurs, but then... Oh shit, there's a volcano. How are you going to fight a volcano? We have nukes, and we can't fight a volcano. <laughs> we can't do a goddamn thing about a volcano. <clears throat> Indeed, one million, <laughs> one million years later, 
What can we do about a volcano? Shit, we can light the ocean on fire, but we can't fight a volcano. Okay. Okay. This movie... Now, I haven't watched in a while, but I think I liked One Million Years better. <laughs> It was probably along the lines of, it was probably the same story. This was mildly entertaining. A family-friendly romp through, hold on, got to set it down, history. <clears throat> that did spawn not only the Raquel Welch remake, but also... Ringo Starr's Caveman. Now. <laughs> if you haven't seen Caveman, watch that instead. Because <laughs> Caveman's hilarious. This. Is a two ring circus. Right here on the late night picture show. Now. I think I'm going to polish that right off. See that lemon wedge in there? Well, lemon slice, lemon peel. <clears throat> That's important. Don't leave that out of your drink. I saved a lemon that I squeezed into another drink just so I could cut up the peel and put it in this drink. Okay. Let's all go to the lobby. We all need a new drink. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find, okay? See you in a few minutes, kids. <laughs>